I'm going to review the mathematics behind the marginal rate of substitution. The marginal rate of substitution is the absolute value of the slope of the indifference curve. We're going to be thinking about the marginal rate of substitution in the context of the labor leisure choice model. In this model, the marginal rate of substitution tells us how many dollars of consumption the consumer is willing to give up for an additional hour of leisure holding utility constant. In class, we prove that the marginal rate of substitution is calculated as the marginal utility of leisure divided by the marginal utility of consumption where the marginal utility of leisure gives us the change or increase in utility from spending an additional hour on leisure. And the marginal utility of consumption is the increase in utility from spending an additional dollar on consumption. So what I'm going to do is uh, calculate the marginal rate of substitution for various utility functions. Let's start with one that say looks like uh, this. Okay, so basic utility function. Utility is a function of consumption and leisure. The marginal utility of consumption as we reviewed in prior videos is a partial derivative of utility with respect to consumption. You can take the derivative of C holding L constant. Derivative of C is 1 so it's just 1L or L. The marginal utility of leisure is the partial derivative of utility with respect to leisure. So we can take the derivative of the L and that's just 1 and that 1 is touching C so we bring back the C. All we're going to do now is substitute our results here into the marginal rate of substitution equation. So the marginal utility of leisure is C and the marginal utility of consumption is L and that would be our marginal rate of substitution equation based on the utility function u equals c times l. Let's do another example. Utility equals 10c times l cubed. The marginal utility of consumption. Just going to take the derivative of 10c and that is just 10, uh, 10 and that 10 is touching the L cube, so we bring that back. The marginal utility of leisure here, going to take the derivative of uh, 10 times L cubed, which is going to be 30C times L squared. Okay, so again, concentrate on taking the derivative of L cubed, which is just 3L squared. So 3 times 10 is where I'm getting this 30 here. So 3 times 10 is where I'm getting that 30. And finally, the marginal rate of substitution, the last step, you can take the marginal utility of leisure, and we're going to divide it by 10L cubed. Simplifying, it looks like we're going to get 3 over CL. Okay, not too bad. Another example, we have a utility function equals c to the one-half power times l squared. Once again, let's solve for the marginal rate of substitution based on this utility function. Get the marginal utility of consumption. So the marginal utility consumption is going to be 1 half times c to the 1 half minus 1 and this will be multiplied by L squared when we take a partial derivative. With respect to consumption we're treating L as a constant. Okay, So we're just bringing that constant along for the ride. Maybe just simplify this up slightly. Um, Yeah, something like that. If we want to do that, that's fine. And the marginal utility of leisure, partial derivative of utility with respect to leisure, 
Let me get the result. Looks something like that. Oops. There we go. Okay. And that's our Mars Utility Leisure. And to get the a marginal rate of substitution, Mars Utility of Leisure over the Mars Utility of Consumption. Take the Mars Utility Consumption. Okay. I'm just taking this result right here. I could have used this one here, it doesn't matter, but I'm taking this result here. It might be easier to see. Plugging that in for the marginal utility consumption, and this will simplify down to 4C over L. Okay. Uh, 2 divided by 0.5 or 1 half is 4. We got c to the minus one half in the denominator, so rules of exponents. We can just bring that up and get c to the minus one half here in the denominator. So rules of exponents say we can just bring it back into the numerator, and we'll get c to the one half multiplied by the c to the one half. That's where the c is coming from. And here we got l divided by l squared, just simplifies down to l. Okay, hopefully that was beneficial.